Hi guys and welcome back to Crypto Chester. My name is Chester and today I'm going to be walking you through the Bitcoin charts for a nice little BTC update. Just um, going through compared to yesterday, right? We did get in a lovely little cheeky position to the upside here. We were talking about this falling wedge to the downside here and we were looking for that break to the upside. Looked pretty good. Got in a nice entry around. It was around 38,609. As you can see, we rode that wave up, staggering our take profits as we go. The completion of the measure move did get um, pretty much perfectly tapped there. Very, very nice stuff indeed. So yeah, we did very, very well in that trade. Going to delete all that now because that is yesterday. We're trying to look for a position for today. So let's get um, a fresh chart pattern going through there. Um, so I'm going to get rid of that trend line as well. We're going to keep the one on the bottom line because that is also going to be basically still acting as a level of support coming through there. Still very, very strong, still very dominant indeed. I am now going to be referencing, that's obviously the support on the lower side. I'm now going to be referencing the resistance on the top side, right? We are in a breakout scenario from a falling wedge, guys. Falling wedges, they tend to usually break to the upside, right? So this is very interesting because we are in a breakout scenario, which is very bullish for Bitcoin. And it could mean that there is a lovely, cheeky, juicy, cold, hard cash long on the table for us to be taking, right? In terms of the resistance points to be looking at for, as you can see, heavy resistance here, heavy resistance here. Also, the third test of resistance is coming coming around here, um, around yesterday. And you can see here, we have actually broken that resistance here, which is very, very, very crucial, right? In terms of a measure move, guys, in terms of a price target of what we're going for and looking for an entry as well, this is where it's gonna get really quite interesting and um, is very, very, very beneficial to be learning these, right? As you can see, the most recent uptrend, because we are gonna be trend trading up here, we're gonna be getting in a nice long, the most recent uptrend, this is gonna be the measure move that we are looking for. Something along the lines of this, very nice indeed, can be dragging that along the lines of this our price target for this trade is going to be around 40,400 and if you look all the way along to where my cursor is that's pretty much on a lovely level of support where that basically that wick came down to and bounced off of off before so we're going to be banging the horizontal there and basically using that as um as our final take profit point which can be very very good indeed um you're probably wondering why i'm not in already the reasoning for this is guys is because as you can see we like to wait for a really congruent level of support to be broken before entering um, entering a position here and and entering this long. Yes, we have had the breakout scenario. Yes, we have broken through a horizontal, but unfortunately you can see how choppy these, um, these levels at the top are, right? You can see how choppy these levels at the top are. Very, very choppy indeed in terms of resistance to the downside. So it doesn't make sense getting in yet because there is still a chance that we could actually dump down and we don't want to stop loss, guys. No, we don't want to stop loss at all. We're here to make money. It's as simple as that. So yeah, in terms of an entry point for this, I'm probably going to be waiting until we've actually got a nice candle body close. I would say probably just above this level here, right? This is the sort of congruent level. As you can see, there is a lovely level of support along this zone, which is going to be very interesting to see how we do actually react to that. So the entry point I'm really looking for for this trade is a candle body close above 39,325, that sort of area. First take profit. Has to be your first take profit, guys. Um, and we know about gridding your take profits here. We're staggering them up like that. And then once we hit our first take profit, we move our stop loss to our entry. And that basically minimizes losses completely. It pretty much gets rid of nearly all of them, right? It's pretty good. Uh, it's a very, very good, um, very good exit strategy there. So in terms of the first take profit, we're probably looking at something around 39,548. And as you can see here, guys, there is multiple, multiple chances that we could hit that. In terms of percentages now, let's get some percentages up because this is where it gets really interesting. So we're not going to get into a position until we've got a candle body close here. So our first take profit point is going to be around a 0.5%, which, hey, that's not bad. And I know you guys are leverage junkies slapping your veins out there. So, um, so yeah, you're probably going to be making a little, little bit more than 0.5% on that. But obviously nothing I say as financial advice, guys. Please, please, please go do your own research. This is for education educational purposes only. But um, yeah, that's what I'm going to be looking for around the 0.5% for a first day profit. And we're looking at around a 2.79% gain for the day there which is pretty bloody amazing if you ask me, right? In terms of a second um, take profit point to be looking out for there because we know we know how I like to trade, guys. I like to have my, my take profit stagger. We're looking for our four take profits there. Um, so yeah, looking for the next one, you can see we do have a clear horizontal here already plotted in from previous history coming through there. As you can see, very, very, very strong resistance along these areas, right? So the next point to be looking out for there for this position is gonna be around 39,772, right? And from there, it's a pretty clear zone, guys. It is a pretty clear zone. You can see the movements in between this area here is usually quite fast, usually quite aggressive. So that's something that we're going to be using to our advantage, right? We will be looking for um, 
for some sort of take profit in there. As you can see, we do have um, quite a bit of consolidation along this sort of area here. So probably going to bang one in around this sort of area just to be safe, guys. Just to be safe. You can see the support there. You can also see the resistance is very strong along this area as well. So, yeah, that's going to be our, our take profit. And then our final take profit is going to be the completion of the measure move there. So, yeah, that's going to be my position that I'm looking out for for, for the day today. In terms of a stop loss for this trade, um, I'm going to be using the WAD machine here. Going to be using all major, major moving averages here, guys. And I'm going to basically be putting my stop loss back inside of this wedge below all major moving averages, right? So probably something around the 38,400 sort of area. That sort of area is what, what I'm sort of looking for for this position there because we do and will have a lot of support to the lower side here. Um, so if we do actually come down, we've got a very high chance in just having a retest of this zone and then basically just bouncing it back up and hitting those um, hitting those juicy, juicy take profits coming through there. And as you can see, we are pumping as I'm talking there. Amazing stuff. In terms of the RSI, guys, let's have a little look at the RSI on the shorter term time frame here because as you can see we did see a break to the upside yesterday from this trend line that we were talking about and obviously that was the the, the falling wedge trade that we were talking about the break to the upside there made a lovely lovely pretty penny there i would say we are clearing highs now guys we are clearing highs but we're not clearing highs in terms of where we were on the chart right so what does that tell us it tells us there's potential for a bearish divergence to be forming guys a bearish divergence to be forming which is obviously going to be meaning um, momentum to the downside, right? It's a bearish, um, bearish chart pattern to be basically playing out there when, um, when you are getting highs on the RSI and you're not breaking the highs here on the chart in terms of the price, right? So if we do come up to um. 39,400 or something along lines of that, and we do see a clear rejection coming through in terms of selling power, then that is going to be a, a confirmed bearish divergence, and that is going to be pushing the price down, guys. So please be aware of that. That's something you need to basically be aware of in this position um, coming through today. Um, but overall, we are getting to that overbought stage there. So, so we are going to be looking for some sort of sell-off to come through there. In terms of the MACD, the macadamia nuts here, guys, we were looking, let's get that full screen. We were looking at this trade, this trend cycle coming through there. You can see yesterday, we actually... Um, bang through it and this is this is the key point that i was looking for there for the confirmation of that um that long at that wedge there because it was a break on the rsi a break on the macd and a break in terms of a falling wedge it was everything lined up the stars aligned for a perfect perfect trade there so that was very very nice indeed what are we seeing now guys we're seeing um quite a bit of momentum to the upside in terms of this um nice little nice little uptrend right and we have seen it seen it call off a bit and it has come up and it's still coming up right which is quite nice to see i do want to see a confirmed green candle not it fading away if it does fade away we could be looking at um we could be looking at, at basically a bearish crossover, right? And if this is going to happen, we you can see on the lower side, we do have a trend cycle coming through here. You can see the resistance in terms of the reversal of this trend here. So we need to basically be aware. It could be pretty small, guys. It could be pretty small in terms of a small downtrend before we flip back to the upside. Or if we break this trend line coming down here, that basically has confirmation for um, a lot of downwards momentum there coming through. So that's definitely something to be looking out for there, guys, um, when you are um, looking for these potential positions today, right? So yeah, that's going to be going to be the short term covered. In summary, looking for a lovely candle body close um, above that zone as we were just talking about at the start of the video there and that's basically going to mean lovely long position looking for these um looking for these really really crucial percentages there moving on to the to the longer term time frame here for bitcoin the midterm you can see we did have that bullish divergence basically playing out pushing us right the way up coming through there and um, we are testing very very crucial fibonacci retracement levels the the 0 0.236 here that's going to be an area to be testing and this is obviously something that we are going to be using i um, in our short position uh, sorry in our long position on the shorter term time frame that's going to be 39,268 there and you can see we actually have got um quite a few um quite a few moving averages coming down as well that are basically um basically spaced out right so that obviously means that um the the the, 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 the downtrend is fairly strong here guys so we basically need to put, take that into consideration and not um and not go crazy here for any sort of mad positions coming through on the longer term time frame in terms of a chart pattern for the longer term time frame now you can see we're still in this parallel channel guys we still don't really know which way we're going here um and that's why we're sort of just day trading this at this point in time not really doing those really really big swing positions there um, but yeah, as you can see, um, if we do find resistance coming through off the 0 0.236, I would expect to be coming down to the zero, the swing low point on this um, on the Fibonacci retracement coming through there as well there. So yeah, that's what I would say about the about the midterm time frame there. You can see the volume weight state been coming through on the low side of this of, on this parallel channel as well. So that's definitely going to be a point to be looking out for there for the future around 34,900 there. That's definitely going to be a bounce point, guys. Am I going to be blind along this zone? Probably not, guys. Probably not. I'm probably going to be waiting for a lovely breakout to either the downside or the upside, right? We are looking for a lot more upwards momentum here because we can see that we have bounced off this high low here from this most recent uptrend here. We could actually see these lower highs, as you can see here, getting validated. If that is going to happen, we are going to see the 0 0.236 
act as a level of support and then we are going to be coming up to the 0 0.382 smashing through the 55 as a retest bring us back up to around 40k there which can be very interesting to see how that actually does react along that zone interesting stuff indeed moving through to the longer term time frames here um same sort of scenario there. We did come up to the 0 0.236 Fibonacci retracement of this macro downtrend here um, since the all-time high, right? We've got the VPVR acting as a heavy level of support as well. So yeah, it is looking fairly bullish from this zone. And also the last um, the last highlight that we did set was around here on the 27th of February, around 37,600. So yeah, it is looking fairly bullish along this area, guys. I want to see us clear the 50 um, SMA coming through here around 40,000. If we can get above 40,000, then I would expect bullish momentum to the upside to bring us all the way up to 41 42 sort of area that's going to be the video guys that's going to be the update have a good day hope you have um successful trades coming through there let me know in the telegram join our community we've got like 330 members it's a positive place to be guys we're talking trading all day it's amazing stuff um but yeah for now it's gonna be peace out and goodbye from me crypto chester